Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a yard drain over here by the trencher. You can see he's getting ready to put some sod in here. And if you look closely, you can see the trails of water here. As it comes down this hill, big hill, as it comes down the hill, it's been flooding this area, going into the garage. Even though this is a slab, <clears throat> water still penetrates you know, through that block and comes up in the floor um, you know, inside the garage. You can see there is some type of a drain here along the garage, but we're going to dig all that up and replace that. There's actually already a backyard sump pump right over here in this area. So we're going to bring up the footer tile all the way over into this, this sump pump and the sump pump's going to lift it up and take it out. So we've got the bulk of this trench done. We can see there's a lot of water in the ground here. And that, that's the reason that we're doing it. Water's been just flooding into this garage from you know both sides here. Basically what Chuck's doing, he's connecting the two trenches. I'm out in the front yard trenching and he's got to connect where I can't get past the fence. But all in all, it's coming along really good. We'll connect up these old drain tiles that are down here, this corrugated pipe. We'll put that into our new system as well. Once he connects that to this trench, this water is going to flow you know, right out here to the street. So we're going to need to clean this trench out, get it nice and clean as it comes through here, going out to the street. So let's keep working. So we've got our main trench installed and you can see where the water is starting to flow down through here. Terry's cleaning out the rest of that trench as it goes out to the street. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and relieve this water, let that come over into our trench. And you can see back there, if you can see Chuck's digging along that footer, we're going to dig that up, wash it all out, clean it, seal it with liquid rubber, and put gravel perforated pipe through that section. There's a sump pump on the other side, but it looks like we've got plenty of fall to get, come all the way over here to this trench, because water's flowing through here really well. So gravity always works better than a pump, if you can use it. So now we laid our, laid our pipe out, we just walk it right down in the trench to get it to the bottom of the trench. There's a lot of tree roots there. Don't be afraid to step on your corrugated pipe. It's a lot stronger than you think. So we're going to set up our cat's basin. You just need a screwdriver, Phillips head. I like to use the drill. You got to take these screws out. I usually don't even put those screws back. They're really not needed. Um, <clears throat> We're using a, an inline basin. What that means is that water is going to run through the basin as well as pick up from the top. And you can see how this comes together. There's little nipples here on the side of the inlet. They slide into little slots. Then you just twist it. You gotta really twist it. <laughs> twist it tight. And you are done with your setup. Put your lid back on. You can put your screws in if you want, but again, it makes it a lot easier to come back and clean the basin. These guys have already dug the hole right here. So we're gonna set the basin down in there, square it up. Now we're ready to hook up the pipe. So the best way to make your measurement is lay your pipe over top of the catch basin. You just come right to the edge, and that's where you're gonna cut through. Once you cut your pipe, go ahead and push your other piece out of the way because this is going to hook onto the other side. This piece just slides into the little nipple that sticks out here at the bottom, slides right into there. Same thing on the other side. There. Yeah, gotta get some underneath the other side. So we're covering up. We're just trying to keep the grade here, let a little dirt go underneath of it. You can see we had to put a T on here. We connected an old French drain that was in the line here. Now we're ready to cover. 
So out here at the curb, we've got our trench taking you know, the yard drain and also some gravity of the waterproofing on the garage wall. But there's also a sump pump line that was added to this. And you can see it's pretty low, but it'll work fine. The pump's gonna keep pumping water. So we've put a Y on here, bring this out to the curb, do the little V cut. And we've also secured that real tight with screws so that that can never come apart. Not a problem. If you've got a line that's lower, um, and it's, you know, in other words, if it's higher in the back and you're lower out here, it's all going to work fine. So we've got to hook them up. This is how you do it. Back here in the back, this footer is an addition. This is an addition um, to the garage into the house. It's a lot deeper. Um, again, it's still a slab. There's no crawl space under here but water's still been penetrating through here. And I can see where somebody has put what looks to be maybe Thompson's waterproofing some type of a sealer on this brick, but they didn't, they didn't go all the way down. They, I don't know what they did, but we're gonna seal it with liquid rubber, put gravel perforated pipe down through there. It's gonna come over and it's gonna tie into the sump pit right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole into the pit to allow the footer tile to drain into the sump pit. We want to get it down as low as we can. So I make a slice in the pipe, squeeze it together and slide it into the hole and this will expand now we can wash this wall off so now we can wash the wall off down here to the footer down there to the footer and we'll be ready to paint it after it dries same thing on this side here is the footer and we're going to paint this first course a block but we're also going to have a, a footer pipe running right through here so with your garden hose Try to get as much dirt off as you can. And then you'll come back with your flat shovel and you'll hit that hard. What we're really after is right here at the seam. You can see it down there. We want to clean that seam off. We've got a hole in the sump pump to help get that water out of our trench. Again, if you're going to use, you know, a damp proofing compound, we like Blackjack, rubber coat number 57, and this is a premium rubberized fiber coating. That means it's got fiberglass in it, and once it hardens, it makes a great shell. So we're going to go ahead and start painting this footer, and basically what we're doing is we're painting the block right up underneath of the siding and then we paint right down to where the block meets the footer and we want to seal that so that no water can get down inside of it again we're using a, a liquid rubber this is rubber coat number 57 Wait <laughs> this is rubber coat number 57 you can see you just apply it with a brush and we want to paint the block and right to the seam of the footer. You don't need to paint the footer, just the seam of the footer. We're gonna go all the way around the garage. And it's okay if you have water down in your trench because that's not affecting anything. Um, there's gonna be gravel down there and perforated pipe. Okay, and right now it's right out here, but you can see that we've painted the wall with a liquid rubber. This is the asphalt coating with a rubber membrane inside of it. And you can see it just turns it black, but well sealed all the way down to the footer. I don't know if you can see that down there down to the footer and we went all the way around the garage as well you can see it over here on the garage side all the way along and basically we don't need to seal the actual footer just the seam and the block above so we've sealed all the way around real thick in that corner back there once this dries we're going to be able to go ahead and put our gravel perforated pipe in here a small base of gravel then perforated pipe and then a little bit more gravel we should be about right here so that as water floods up you know around the garage as it comes down that hill it floods up into the system and is carried away we're going to take it down here to the sump pump which i showed you there how we drilled into the pit 
and we'll connect it and this will drain great. So now we're loading up the gravel into the wheelbarrow. We take that back there, make a tiny base of gravel underneath that perforated pipe, lay your pipe, and then we cover that up to gravel, covering up the footer as well. So you can see we've got the gravel covered up the footer and the pipe. Coming around, we you know connect to the downspout. That actually goes separate from this system. Um, more gravel going around the corner. You can see the footer over there has to be covered. Again, when it rains, you know, water doesn't really drop down into the pipe. If it comes over, hits the foundation of your home or your structure, then it floods up into the system. So footer pipe, footer tiles, is kind of like a French drain. It's gravel, it's perforated pipe, surrounded by gravel, and you can either have gravity discharge, which is going out to the street, or if you remember, we have a sump pump on the other side. So he's got two places for this water to discharge. Should work really good. The last thing we're going to do here is go ahead and you know, grade this off. We'll put some fabric over top of this so no uh, dirt can drop down in, or we may leave it exposed. Um, leaving it exposed works even better, uh, and then he can just have a gravel base around his garage, and that's fine too. Remember, his footer is only down there six inches. It's not very deep. So here's your completed product. You can see we've tarred the wall with the liquid rubber, and we sealed that. That's nice and secure now. We've got a footer pipe down there, which is perforated pipe, holes point down into the gravel below. Cover that with gravel. We're discharging over here to a sump pump. Let's just go over there and take a look. There's a sump pump here. Remember, we cut a hole into this pit. And <clears throat> so any water that comes down through here is just going to drain into the sump pump. Sump pump lifts it up and takes it out. So we're doing our final backfill here. Just bringing it over. <clears throat> this is all going to settle. Don't need to chop it up or anything. Just let the gravity take it down. We want to cover up as much as we can here up to that black mark on the wall because it's going to settle. It's all going to go down the first big rain. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.